wiggle them. Wiggle your fingers. Wave your finger. Wave your hands around. And stop. Did you stop? Simon didn't say. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is for you, wherever it is you are. Uh, this short devotional today is kind of coming from something that gave me an entire different perspective of a story in the Bible, and it actually came from a kid's lesson. So if your kid's watching this, uh, this was first done in kid's church, I believe, and uh, part of one of the VBSs one year. So anyways, who has brothers and sisters? Put your hand up if you do. I do. Uh, is there days where your brothers or sisters are the best thing in the world? Uh, I'm guessing yes. Is there days where you wish your brother and sister was confined to the room and you had the rule of the entire house outside of that and that was that kind of I'm guessing that's true as well. Um, have you ever been distracted or lost your focus? Let's try this. I know it's not going to work, but we're going to try it. Have you ever played the game Simon Says? If you're at home, do it with me, but I'm guessing you're not going to. But anyways, Simon says, so sit up straight. Oh, did you already lose? Simon didn't say. Let's try it again. One more time. Okay. Simon says, sit up straight. Simon says, put your hands up. Simon says, wave them. Wiggle your fingers. Wave your finger, wave your hands around. And stop. Did you stop? Simon didn't say. Distractions happen all the time, right? When we're thinking one thing or looking at another thing and we lose our focus. Um, in the ancient world, hospitality was a huge thing and a big thing. And even today, we have hotels, we have restaurants, we have all sorts of different convenience stores and places like that. And receiving people like they're your own family, even though they're strangers, is kind of the main point of hospitality, right? Of being hospitable to someone who doesn't necessarily know you. Um, no two people are the same, and it's the same for the two sisters that I'm going to talk about today, which you've all probably heard of and heard this story a thousand times, but hopefully this brings a little new twist or idea to it um, for you today. Um, they both, I believe, had gifts of hospitality. They just expressed them in different ways. I'm going to read you the story in Luke 10. It says this, As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her." You probably heard that story lots of times, but I'd never heard it in the context of hospitality. So a couple things here just as we kind of uh, look at it and then finish off. Martha was devoted to hospitality by cooking a meal. Mary was devoted to hospitality by sitting and listening to the conversation. Martha welcomed Jesus by working hard to prepare a meal, ensuring everything was just right, the table was set, and it tasted excellent. Mary welcomed Jesus by listening attentively to what he had to say sitting quietly and just listening. Martha teaches us that we can serve by working and taking care of others. Have you ever worked really hard on something, a school project, a job, a chore, um, class project, something in your house, and it seemed like the others on that project didn't work as hard as you, and you were working hard and getting it done and focused on it, and the other people were kind of, this kind of sort of working and not really doing as much work as you felt they should be. And how did you feel when that happened? Uh, I'm sure you helped, felt frustrated. You felt like, uh, why am I doing all the work and they're not? We need to get this done. Um, so Martha or Mary teaches us that we can serve by listening to others and pay attention to them. Um, have you ever been trying to sit and listen quietly? possibly to someone having a conversation, possibly to a movie, possibly to some of your music, and everyone else in the household is running around and going this way and going that way and making lots of noise, and they're all distracting you and noise and movement and all that kind of stuff. How did that make you feel? I'm sure that as well made you feel very frustrated, very angry. Nobody notices me. I'm trying to sit quietly. I'm trying to listen and everything's going on around me and no one is kind of on the same page as I am. 
The one line in the, in the story that really sticks out is Martha, however, became worried and distracted by many things. It says in Luke 10 verse 41 that she began to be distracted and focused on Mary's actions and judged her for them rather than continuing to express her love through service while Mary displayed her love through presence. Jesus loves and accepts people. We all have a part to play as we follow Jesus. Everyone's different. Uh, when we use our gifts and focus on others, it's amazing how it can change our world, how it can change people's lives, how it can change. In this story, for Mary and Martha, we need to say, Mary and Martha, stop. Just slow down and focus on Jesus. Is he hungry? Or is he wanting someone to talk to you? I think in this story, if we focus on Jesus, he'd probably been out doing a lot of things. He probably wasn't really hungry at the moment, but I'm sure he was going to be hungry in the future. And at the moment, he was just in one of those places where he just felt like, I just need somebody to listen to me. I've been speaking to people and I know I've been sharing and I just need someone just to be there, just to be a friend. And at this moment, that's what Jesus needed. And, and uh, Mary used her gift to focus on Jesus and listen. And I'm sure there was hundreds of times that aren't recorded in the Bible, Mary opened her house, or Martha opened her house, right? And Jesus came and had a meal. For each of us, we also need to slow down and take time and focus on the gifts and talents that we have and how we can serve others. I'm gonna finish with this quote um, by Henry Winkler, which some of you older people who didn't get up and play Simon Says will recognize as one of the characters, the Fawns from Happy Days. And I was sitting in the dentist's office and I read this quote. He says this, he says, there is greatness in every child, and it's their job to figure out what their gift is, then dig it out and give it to the world. And I'm going to close with this challenge to you today. The challenge to you today is to find the greatness God has placed inside of you. Figure out what that gift is and where it intersects with others, and then give it to the world. Be hospitable and look for opportunities to provide service and presence to others today in our world. Bless you.